Thousands of people are still streaming into Donald Trump's rally at the Gaylord here in far north Aurora. The fire department tells me the capacity on this venue is about 10,300 people, and from the looks of the line outside, it will be absolutely packed here. We step back just so that you can hear what we're saying. Donald Trump has falsely claimed that this city has been taken over by a Venezuelan gang, and you can tell from the visuals he has on the stage with him today that that is going to be the focus of his remarks to this crowd at 1 o'clock. A number of folks that we talked to indeed said that it is immigration and safety that brought them out today. There are challenges that Aurora had for a long time, but simple uh, reconnaissance runs through a neighborhood patrols. It scares people with bad intentions away, and I either see 12 cops or no cops. When there's a shooting, they all come, and it's just, I, I'm not afraid of much, but it, it I hear gunshots every night over there. Trump's going to talk about illegal immigration today. Do you feel like that is an issue that impacts you personally? It absolutely impacts me personally because the more they come in and take up all of our resources, the less we have for our own people. We've been funding their governments for decades. Why aren't their governments taking care of them? Where is all that money going to? And why are they coming here? For a lot of the Colorado conservatives that I've talked to here today, this event also serves as a sort of catharsis living in a state that is getting bluer by the year. They know that. They acknowledge that. But the fact that Donald Trump is coming here to talk about immigration, they see as a tremendous win for Colorado conservatives that have had a tumultuous couple of years. And that was on display here when the Colorado GOP chairman Dave Williams got on stage to a mix of cheers and boos, having just turned aside an attempt by other Republicans to remove him from his post. In Aurora, Kyle Clark, 9 News.